What's up guys welcome back to the channel so that laptop cooler from freeze mod arrived today but my luck it didn't show up the way I wanted it to real problem see real problem so anyway, smash that like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Here we go. Roll the intro. Oh yeah. Check out what has arrived. This is the Freeze Mod Notebook All-in-One Water Cooler System. And I was right. It does come complete it. We don't have to put it together, which is a nice feature. Got a remote with it. Let's open it. Let's look at it. Well, shit. Man, look. Mine came with a gnarly crack in it. See that crack? I don't know how you can miss it. Damn. Big ass crack in it. Other than that, it looks to be really cool. Now, two things I've already noticed. One, I don't remember the fan being white bladed. Two, I don't remember it coming with a crack in the product page. Although that crack, that's on the inside of the acrylic. I almost wonder if maybe I can cut out a top piece use this as a template for all of my holes to measure and then just make a new one and go from there this is really nice even though it has a shit crack in it ooh look it's chipped too at the bottom see that it has a gnarly chip right there at the bottom damn you know and it came it came wrapped up in this I paid over a hundred dollars for it that sucks that it came broke now the unit does not come with a power supply so I had to go digging for power supplies and the one that I found to work is a 12 volt uh, 1 amp I've tried 2 amp, 0 0.5 amp, 1.5 amp, none of them work. This one seemed to be the only one that would actually power on and turn on the LEDs. And there is a switch in the back here that you toggle and that's what actually turns the system on. You can see there's no temperature reading or anything because there's no water going through the pump or nothing's taking place although I'm very upset with the fact that it came all busted uh, let's fill it with water so I just hooked up a tube just so it will cycle and I got our fill bottle here and I thought I would fill it with water let's see here let's go maybe at a low angle Alrighty, so I got it nice and full. Now when I turn this on, it should prime it. 
my question is is what is that inside of it I know it's hard to see but there's like a there's like this floating thing in there can you see it it's that black thing right there hold on where's my finger at right there see that black thing it's in there and it's like at an angle I don't know if maybe if it got jarred around in shipping or what hmm well let's turn it on and see what happens there we go let's see if it will pump no it's not pumping so unfortunately I am having to take it apart because it's not working right now I know this much I am going to be reaching out to them and letting them know how this product arrived to me and they're I guess in some ways they're lucky because if I was like Linus Tech Tip or something and I had a you know 11 million subscribers Freeze Mob would have a new one of these things sent out to me ASAP but we don't even have a thousand subs yet so at most maybe a couple hundred people will see it but yeah I'm currently in the process of taking it apart and finding out why the pump won't turn on why the LEDs aren't rotating through lights um, this thing came with no instructions no power supply so I have no idea what the voltage I'm assuming it's all 12 volt um, and I don't know what the amp rating is or anything so I'm having to guess all of this and of course this came broke cracked cracked in one two three different places and so yeah I'm gonna tear this thing apart and I'll get back with you guys so I removed the top cover and you can see inside they got some nice fittings in here uh, clear tube and everything but here's that whole mess of wires that I wanted to get to and are you fucking kidding me Wow all right so I guess that piece fell off hang on and this piece fell off so that's where the screw went through and you can see that there was missing one so it didn't come with one and one was broken out of place so yeah the remote does not work at all see see the light coming on right there's the the thing right there see color speed power doesn't work I'm starting to regret buying this so halfway through ripping it apart um, the LEDs I got both of the LEDs to finally come on there are two sets there's one that runs in the front and the front and there's one that runs in the back and when I pulled off the back look at the piece of acrylic that came loose you can see the big old chunk of it right there just broken off well anyway it came with an included remote but check this out I was like god this this remote is is like god awful light the reason why it was so light and the reason why the remote wasn't working is look it did not come with a battery in the remote how cheap is that you can't even put a battery in the remote Wow no matter what I try to do if I hook a 12 volt 1 amp up it will power the LEDs if I put anything else to it the LEDs just drop so if the LEDs are plugged in and then I plug in the pump the LEDs shut off over current so I went up on amps. I went to 2, 12 volt point 2, no, 12 volt 2 amps. I plug that in, I get nothing. The whole thing just shuts down. So, I've dug through the box. I can't find any instructions with it. I can't get it to come on. Um, the controller doesn't work. It doesn't come with batteries. I put batteries in it. It doesn't work. 
I've tried five different remotes on it. That doesn't work. I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I wish this video actually went way different. I really do. I had to tear the system down even more. Like I was saying, you see that plastic piece in there? See how it's sitting in there crooked at an angle? I am pretty sure that that is not how that goes. I actually used to have one of these style of pumps and I don't remember it being that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip those four screws, pull this top piece off and examine that black thing in there and see why it's, why is it sitting in there at an angle like that. Pull the pump apart. This is the plastic piece that I was talking about that was sitting off at an angle and I was correct too. See, there's this little spindle thing inside. That's what I was hearing turning, but nothing was happening because this is like the intake to the pump. It sucks the water in and then spins it through there and then pumps it out. And this thing was all jacked up as you guys saw. So I'm going to reset it or reseed it, put it back together, put some water into it and see if I can't get it to fire on. All right, so I think I got the pump fixed. Let's see. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's a pumping. Hold on, let me plug it in. Let's get some water on before I burnt it out. Oh yeah, look at the stream. Oh hell yeah. All right, good deal. Yes, all right. Good deal, I fixed it. You know, if I wasn't an experienced builder, uh, this would have definitely end up going back to the manufacturer. Uh, let's just see if I can figure out the LED problem um, now since I got the pump to work. Finally, I got something going on. Look at all the air in the system. At least that's working. Oh, jeez. What a nightmare this was. So, I finally got it put together. I had to completely rewire the whole thing. Um, the LED lights, I kept on the on the 12 volt circuit that it already had. But, I just ran the external cables out the back. And, I'm just going to power them with a, um, a 12 volt Molex connector. For some reason... They don't like to talk too well. That 5 volt and that 12 volt just doesn't work. I still can't get the LED to come on on here. Uh, but everything else seems to be working. It looks cool. So yeah, it is now 9.30. So I've been working on this thing for 6 hours to get it to look like this. I replaced that fan. We put the blue fan in, which I like. I'm glad I did that. It looks so much better that way. Um, it has pretty good fan compression, I would have to say. Yeah, I can feel the... Definitely feel the flow going through it. And you can see it. Let's see here. So you can, well, so let's see here, there it is, there you go, you can really see it flowing water in and out, that's pretty cool, this is a cool little unit, this is a cool little unit I would have to say. That's awesome. I don't know what it means. I'll have to see if I can't change it. Too bad it didn't come with any instructions or anything. I wonder if... Uh, I bought this new, but I'm wondering if I, if it's a used model. Not sure at all. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm out of here. I had so many problems with this thing. Fan not working, LED, fan pump not working, pump off center, problem with the pump, crack on the top, broke piece on the back, the remote for the LEDs came with no battery, 
and the remote didn't work once I got it on there. Had to spend six hours disassembling it and putting it back together trying to figure out why it wouldn't work. But we did get it figured out. So, I appreciate y'all. Make sure to subscribe and like. And we'll see you guys in the next one.